Hey guys, so in today's Mini Monday episode, I'm going to be showing you how I created these cloud themed nails. So let's get right into the video. So I've been seeing cloud nails on the internet recently, and I tried out the design I wanted to attempt on a swatch stick, and here's what that looks like, and now I'm going to be attempting it on my natural nails. So those are my clean and prep nails, and now I'm applying a thin layer of Hollow Taco Peely base coat to all of my nails for easy pop-off removal. And a few of you guys have asked me whether I prefer the Oomp Peel Off base coat or the Hollow Taco one, and honestly, they work the exact same for me, so I honestly don't prefer one over the other. And once I've let the peel off base coat dry, I'm going to choose my colors. So I'm going to be using Delicate White as well as Crystal Clear from Sparkle Co. And I will also be using my Base Bond Liquid. So I'm going to apply a thin layer of the base to my entire nail and then dip into the powder and tap off any excess. And for this manicure, I did the white on my thumb, pointer, and pinky nail, and then my middle and ring nail were the accents with the clouds. So I'm going to let you guys watch me do the two coats of white. And now I'm going to be doing two dips of clear on my other two nails. And the reason that I did two layers of clear underneath the clouds is just to build up structure because I prefer a little bit of thickness on my nails. If you want your nails to be a little bit more natural or thinner, you could definitely skip this step. And now that the clear is done, I'm going to be clear encapsulating my white nails. So I'm going to do the same process for my dip application and apply a thin layer of clear on top of these nails. And now I'm going to be going in with Sparkle & Co Solidify and this is a dip powder activator and I'm applying two generous layers of this to all of my nails to harden up the powder and make it ready for filing. And after I've applied the layers, I'm going to let that dry, and then I filed and buffed off camera. And now I'm going to be applying my Model 1's gel top coat to the two accent nails. And the reason that I am applying a gel top coat is so the nail powder has something to buff into, and it is especially important that you use a no wipe top coat, otherwise the nail powder won't properly buff into the gel top coat. And after that layer, I'm going to cure, and now I'm going to be applying a layer of the What's Up Nails Aurora pigment to my fingers, and this will give a super pretty iridescent effect, and I decided to add this powder just to make it look a little bit more like a sky, and add some more design to the nail. So I'm just going to buff that in with my finger, and this powder is absolutely beautiful. And now I'm going to brush off any of the excess pigment powder. I'm going to be using my Lamini Macaroon Gel Polish in Milkshake, and this is what I use to paint the clouds. So I'm just putting a small amount of it on the top of one of my dip jars, and now with the back of one of my nail art brushes, I'm going to be creating clusters of dots in the shape of clouds. And this nail art design is super easy. You don't have to have a lot of skill to do this technique because it is sort of sporadic and however you want the clouds to be, so there is no specific way that you have to create them. So I'm going to let you guys watch me do the clouds on these nails. And after I've put the clouds on, I cured for 30 seconds just to harden up the gel polish. 
And now I'm finishing off the nails with another layer of the Model 1's gel top coat. And this will especially give the dip powder nails a glossy shine, but also seal in the cloud design and the nail powder on my other nails. So I applied a thin layer, cured for 30 seconds, and then I will come back for cuticle oil application. And as always, I'm using my Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil Pen, and here is the finished manicure I was able to create with this cloud theme design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Mini Monday episode. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.